are the Baroque and the Renaissance alien worlds apart? Or is there kind of... Because why I ask that is because there seems to be that it's clear that the the so-called Baroque in the Italian conservatories, they were still singing plain chant, even in the 18th century up to the 19th century. They were singing church music. I, I even noticed that the Leonardo Leo would mark his scores in a Mixolydian key. They weren't. So this idea that Baroque is purely major minor is not necessarily 100% kosher across the, the whole of Europe. And it seemed that, that some of that, that Renaissance theory, that Renaissance practice, that church uh, practice still seemed to maintain into the Baroque era. So do you, do you yeah, want to talk about that? Yeah, there's what, what you say reminds me of Jean-Paul Montagny uh, edited uh, two or three, I can't remember, treatises uh, from France in 1720s and even the 40s. And these are treatises on improvising over a vocal improvisation over a cantus firmus, a chant cantus firmus. So we know that in France, we know two things from this. That one was that in France, in the early 18th century, they were still improvising on chant. It was still a thing being done, just as in the Renaissance. No difference. So forget chords, forget harmony. Some boy sang a line against a Gregorian chant. But the other thing we learned from it is that it was probably a continuous uh, practice all over uh, the whole um, 17th and into the 18th century, but that somebody felt they needed to write a book about it in the 18th century because it was probably fading out. Hmm. So if somebody writes a book, it might be because the thing is fading out. So what I'm trying to say is, that practices overlap yep. wildly. Like Sarah Fuller has a very nice um, a chapter about um, singing in parallel fifths. And you think that history moves ahead right. steadily and people sang in parallel fifths and then they stopped. It was bad. Don't do that anymore. We're going to do this other thing. Yeah. But in fact, uh, they kept singing in parallel fifths. Also, uh, Fiorentino talks about that too. So, practices overlap wildly. And even Bach wrote um, something about what Remy tonalities or something. Right. So, so you think that uh, old things are discarded, but they aren't. 